click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have got to know about the important compound of carbon that is carbon monoxide and now in this topic we are going to talk about the important compound of carbon that is carbon dioxide. So in this topic we are also going to talk about that how basically carbon dioxide has been uh, synthesized or it has been prepared as well as uh, what are the different properties of the carbon dioxide and what are the uses of carbon dioxide. So this is all we are going to talk about. So now let us start with this topic that is the carbon dioxide. So this basically we are going to talk about the uh, preparation as well as the properties of carbon uh, dioxide. So let us understand the preparation first. So there are various methods from which we could prepare that is carbon dioxide. So let me talk about the common thing that we have did in our previous lecture also. That is uh, we can prepare carbon dioxide by uh, the complete oxidation of the carbon and that's the reason that uh, we could get carbon dioxide. So for example, if I'm talking about the first preparation that is when carbon is treated with oxygen and that to at high temperature. So therefore in that case basically we could get uh, the carbon dioxide and in this case basically let me tell you that is the oxygen that we should pro uh, provide to the carbon uh, so that uh, the carbon and oxygen they both will react with each other. So they should be present in excess amount. If this is present in a limited amount or if we supply limited uh, a quantity of oxygen then carbon monoxide is been formed. So because we are going to talk about uh, that is carbon dioxide so we have to provide excess amount of oxygen so that the carbon can react with uh, O2 so as to give CO2 that is carbon dioxide. So this was one of the first preparation that I was talking about and now let me talk about the other methods also from which we could prepare carbon dioxide. So for example if we have CH4 that is methane and what we have to do is suppose if this methane is undergoing a, that is oxidation process so therefore O2 will react with that is uh, methane and in this case basically carbon dioxide will be formed along with that of that is water. And this kind of reaction is basically known as combustion reaction because uh, uh, methane is very, uh, that is, uh, it can catch fire also. So that's the reason in presence of oxygen, that's the reason it produces CO2 as well as H2 gas as well as a lot more amount of uh, energy. But this reaction is not balanced, so we have to balance it. So what we have to do is we have to, uh, that is, balance this reaction and that is what we could get uh, CO2 along with that of water. So this were the two methods uh, which I have uh, mentioned here but uh, there are also very uh, other methods like uh, uh, commercial method as well as the lab method from which we could uh, obtain CO2. So let us discuss about that also. So now let me discuss about that is the lab method. How can we synthesize carbon dioxide in the lab? So in that case basically what we have to do is we have to take the calcium carbonate and that's the reason that uh, this calcium carbonate is treated with that is 2 moles of HCl. So as to obtain the uh, calcium salt that is CaCl2 along with that of the other gases also will be produced that is uh, if you talk about that is CO2 along with that of H2. So this is something that we could obtain and here basically CO2 can be obtained as we could see but uh, as well as we will also get to know that how basically CaCl2 can be prepared. But basically since we are uh, concerned with the preparation of CO2 so therefore this is our main concern and that is how we could obtain carbon dioxide. So this was just a lab method or we could prepare it in a small quantity but uh, what about the industrial method suppose if we have to prepare CO2 and CO2 has a very uh, wide application that is the reason that it could be prepared also or it could be obtained also and uh, so that method is what I am going to talk about and uh, so let me talk about that thing that is if you talk about the industrial method to prepare or com or we could say like uh, uh, the method where we could get uh, uh, carbon dioxide in the bulk amount so the industrial method that is what I am going to talk about over here so in this case again it has been prepared from uh, CaCO3 so that is calcium carbonate so what we have to do is we have to just heat it. So unless uh, to react it with that is HCl so as to obtain a salt like CaCl2. So unlike the method where we could prepare that is uh, CaCl2 also along with that of CO2. What we do is we are uh, uh, we are making this uh, CaCO3 to get decomposed and that's the reason that uh, we could obtain that is CaO along with that of CO2. 
so this is what we could prepare that is uh, uh, carbon dioxide so this were the industrial method this were the lab methods and this were the common methods that uh, we could uh, uh, find in a chemistry reaction but what happens uh, when it, this kind of reaction takes place in uh, biology so as you know that plants are the one that uh, that basically that intakes carbon dioxide and they give uh, oxygen but this reaction can be reversed also so that is what i'm going to explain over here that is the uh, when we talk about uh, glucose so glucose is somewhere it is a, a sugar and that's the reason that it consists of carbon and hydrogen as well as oxygen so if that is been treated with particular enzymes like suppose zymase so in that case also we could obtain carbon dioxide so this is the reverse process where uh, uh, it is a reverse process of photosynthesis so this is what i'm going to explain over here so let me talk about that also so let me talk about that is what happens if uh, that is uh, glucose like suppose c6 h12 o6 if it undergoes a decomposition reaction so in presence of that is a particular enzyme is only responsible so as to uh, decompose this kind of uh, uh, saccharide uh, so that's the reason that uh, we are treating it with a particular enzyme that is known as zymase so this zymase uh, is the one that will help in decomposition of uh, that is uh, the glucose that is c6h12o6 and that is how we could obtain the carbon dioxide and the process goes on in such a way that we could obtain that is two moles of c2h5oh along with that of two moles of co2 so this is how we could obtain that is uh, carbon dioxide also so this was something it was a reverse of uh, that of uh, the photosynthesis because we know that in photosynthesis basically carbon dioxide along with that of the h2 is been consumed so as to give a particular uh, energy source and that is basically glucose and uh, so that is what i want to talk about that this is somewhere different where we uh, are uh, opposite where we are making the carbon dioxide from c2 h12 o6 so this were the preparations and now let me talk about the properties of the carbon dioxide or the chemical reactions that could be exhibited by the carbon dioxide so now we are going to talk about the properties of the carbon dioxide so let me discuss about that So as you know that carbon dioxide plays a very important role in uh, that is in photosynthesis and uh, that is the reason that uh, um, what we are going to do is we are going to talk about uh, this reaction only first and then now we are going to talk about the various different properties that could be exhibited by the carbon dioxide. So let me discuss about that. So for example what we have is we have uh, that is carbon dioxide that is CO2 and in this case basically what happens is the reaction in plants that is co2 along with that of that is 12 moles of h2 so they both will uh, react uh, and this kind of synthesis this happens in basically in presence of chlorophyll so here it is what i am going to talk about so chlorophyll along with that of uh, if it absorbs a certain uh, energy from the sunlight and that is what uh, in presence of sunlight only the photosynthesis can be happened so in this case basically what we could obtain is we could obtain that is c6h12o6 that is nothing but it could be glucose also it could be any source uh, where the food uh, of the plants can be prepared and uh, that is the next one is basically c moles that is six moles of h2 along with that of six o2 is what we could get so this is how basically uh, the photosynthesis happens and we could get uh, food from or basically c6 h2 o6 that is a glucose from uh, glucose or cellulose so this is how we could obtain that is uh, uh, the particular uh, uh, glucose or fructose whatever uh, the synthesis that goes on and that's the reason that uh, we could also obtain that is oxygen so this was something a biological importance of that is co2 when it uh, consumes uh, whenever it has been consumed by the plants and now let us talk about the other examples also or the other properties also that could be exhibited by the carbon dioxide so in that case so now let me talk about the next property that is what happens if basically water is basically dissolved in carbon dioxide so this case basically this is the reaction that i want to talk about so in this case suppose if we take that is carbon dioxide and if it gets dissolved in water then the product that we could form is basically h2co3 and this h2co3 is nothing but 
carbonic acid so what is the role of carbonic acid and that is what we are going to talk about the uses of the carbon dioxide uh, also in this case so carbonic acid basically h2co3 is basically a weak acid so if you talk about that is uh, so this is what we could prepare that is carbonic acid but it has a biological importance also so let me talk about this thing that is uh, whenever we discuss about that is h2co3 which is nothing but a weak acid so whenever it gets hydrolyzed or whenever it it uh, it again get uh, dissolved in the water so therefore we could get the following compounds and since this is a weak acid so therefore it is a reversible process and the product that we could get is we see hco3 minus along with that of h3o plus and again this h3 uh, hco3 minus that is if you talk about this thing so again this will be combined with that of water so as to give you that is co3 2 minus along with that of h3o plus so in this case, basically, during this hydrolysis process, we could see that an equilibrium is maintained. And this kind of equilibrium is nothing but it acts like a buffer solution. And that's the reason that uh, uh, whenever uh, this kind of weak acid has been present in our body, and that's the reason that our blood level, it uh, it basically, it uh, it is being maintained. And the blood level that has been maintained, it has been found to be that the pH value of the blood, it has been maintained because of this is 7.26 to 7.42. So therefore, this acts like a buffer solution in our body, and this acts, uh, and uh, also in, in case of especially about blood, we are talking about. So that's the reason that an equilibrium or a ratio between the concentration of H2CO3 and that of the HCO3 minus it can be maintained because of uh, the carbon dioxide that has been uh, basically we could prepare that is H2CO3 from it, and that is how basically it plays a very important role. If there is no, we could see if there is no CO2 in our body along with that of H2. So obviously uh, there will be change in the concentration of H plus ion and our body will be more acidic or it will be more basic. But because of this basically the pH value is being maintained. So this is what I want to talk about the second point and now let me talk about the other method also from which we could synthesize the different chemicals from the carbon dioxide and that is nothing but the chemical property. So let me discuss about that. So talking about the next point that is uh, what happens if uh, we say that uh, ammonia has been reacted with that of the carbon dioxide so this is a process where we could prepare urea also so this is what i'm going to talk about that is suppose if we uh, if we uh, assume that we have that is uh, two moles of nh3 along with that of that is carbon dioxide that is co2 and at a particular high temperature and a particular high pressure suppose if they are both are being reacted with each other because the both uh, uh, the substrate that i have uh, mentioned over here the both are in gaseous form so that's the reason that uh, at high pressure at high temperature uh, whenever they are meant to be reacted so therefore they will form a complex and that complex will give you us uh, in further uh, decomposition it will give us urea so the reaction goes in such a manner that uh, the product that we could obtain is basically it is nh2 coo nh4 This kind of complex that we could get is basically it is known as ammonium carbamate. So this ammonium carbamate it again it get decomposes and whenever it get uh, decomposes because it is a very unstable structure so that's the reason that we could get basically NH2 CO NH2 along with that of that is h2 so this is what we could get that is urea from uh, ammonia also and with the help of that is carbon dioxide so this is what i want to talk about and this are the certain kind of chemical properties of the carbon dioxide along with that we have also discussed about the preparation of the carbon dioxide and uh, that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and will share this video with the friends and yes don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much